What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the Auditorium, I react to video game music, and today we're going to be returning to Code Vein. This is Requiem, Tranquility, and Light, otherwise known as Eva's theme. Very quickly, just need to preface this, I just did a, a duo of Code Vein reactions, and there was a little mix-up with the titles, so I thought I was listening to Requiem, Tranquility, but I did not, and I already corrected that. So now I'm actually going to be hearing the Requiem, Tranquility, and Light. So this is the actual request that was sent to me from Nevermore064. So apologies there. But I guess there was like some mix-up with like the company. So I don't know what's up with that. And um, as I'm hearing this one, I have all the comments ready to read for the last Code Vein video, which was a couple days ago. Um, for example, this first one I'm seeing here is... Code Vein is basically what if Dark Souls was an anime. So I'm going to have that in mind. But otherwise I still know nothing about this game. But this is the very last request for Code Vein. I have no other request for Code Vein. So this is from the channel Nicola Sebic. This is Requiem Tranquility and Light. Let's go. Goshina, I think, right? Let's read some of these comments. Holy oh, Bryce, loosely connected to the God Eater franchise. I'm guessing this is Eva. Oh, I thought, I thought she said Code of Vein. Sounded like it. Yeah, Goshina really likes those, like, kind of gothic sounds. Everything sounds all Victorian. But he also combines like electronic elements with it too. He's really cool. I mean, I can see the the Dark Souls part. Didn't I say something like that too? I feel like I did. I feel like the sound. I, I think I might have said the sound was like Dark Souls. But yeah, I mean, how can you not hear that? That's cool. The harmony right here. Is this song supposed to be like a dirge or something? Okay. Well, I didn't even get a chance to read most of them, but the top comment for that last Code Vein video was uh, from Chris's God 666 To put it as simply as I can, Code Vein is basically what if Dark Souls was an anime and it's loosely connected to the God Eater franchise. Post-apocalypse, everyone's a vampire like being humans or cattle. Blood shortages everywhere lead to the vampire people going into blood frenzies. Good game, but super cheesy anime vibes at times. Thumbs up. Um, okay, someone says OST is underrated. I agree. Da -da 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 -da. I usually don't read comments from my own videos, but I feel like it's uh, this was recent enough. And this is completely relevant. It's the same game. Um, Code Vein is a spinoff off God Eater. Uh, da, 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 da. 
post-apocalyptic souls like zombies vampires anime girls and bayonets well when you put it like that <laughs> uh okay this game is all about blood here's the last comment i'll read this game is all about blood you are what's called a revenant which is basically a vampire who needs to, well i know what a revenant is but yeah basically a vampire who needs to consume these small beads of blood called blood beads even your abilities are fueled with blood as revenants have special blood co blood called ichor i think it's ichor absorbing ichor directly uh exacer exacerbates blood thirst so it is filtered through special masks that every revenant wears it is used as a way to fuel your gifts aka abilities Oh, and yeah, it's connected to God Eater, an alternate timeline to be precise. It's also the easiest Souls like I've ever played. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> um, okay. Apparently, it's an easy game. Souls like. Um, well, the music, from what I've heard, which has been now, what, four songs? Something like that? Three, four songs? Something like that. Very small amount. And this is the last one, so it's the finale of Code Vein. Unless someone decides to request. Uh, but yeah, they all have this very... Well, now it makes total sense with the whole vampire poker. Yeah, it's, it all sounds very gothic and just like doom and gloom. And, you know, what I imagine that vampiric type of sound. Um, is it? Is it also just like... Kind of one of these fan servicey games with just like you know images like this where like every everyone's hot and everyone's just like it's just like a visual and sound roller coaster or like every, everything just looks and sounds cool that type of thing like it's very stylized because even the name sounds kind of like i don't know how to explain it i don't know what the word is here but it sounds you know code vein it's, i don't know it sounds like a edgy band name or something and i'm guessing the vein part is relating to blood <laughs> seems to be a, a, a big thing in this now mind you i don't know the i don't know much about like well here, here's another way to put this i guess this game might be for like vampire fanatics people that are into that whole whatever you call it i don't know what the it, or is it is it a mythos um but you know you know people are into like zombies and people are into whatever but i guess for like the vampire fanatics whatever they call themselves i feel like this would be kind of right up there you know just like the people that watch blade i need to, i need to rewatch. no sorry side tangent i need to watch the rest of blade i've only seen the first movie and i quite enjoyed that but i heard that the rest suck so let me know <laughs> anyways uh but yeah so so i don't know much about like the whole vampiric um thing i just know that you know sunlight bad crosses bad <laughs> blood good and they seem to go for the neck. Um, and I think most of the time they're like they transform, so like they're normal in the daytime or something like that. I don't know. Like I like I really do. anything I know is like on a very casual level, just from like random media. But anyways, so I'm guessing this game, from the sounds of it, is just like all that embodied into a video game, but in a boss rush type of thing is that safe to say <laughs> and so i'm assuming also god eater is in the same family i don't know because anyways all the music you know you know that i think about it goshina is like the perfect composer for this style of game i'm even willing to bet this is, this is not a real, a real bet i'm just saying but i feel like because like i said earlier goshina has a very well they're very diverse but I notice a lot of like choir stuff, gothic stuff, um, organs. So like the music he already made it sounds like that before Code Vein. So it makes me wonder if one day like at the offices, someone kept hearing his soundtracks. They're like, we're going to make it like a, a game based on the stuff you make musically. Because, you know, it's it's possible they could have been inspired from, from that. Because I, I totally... I could see that happening, like a spontaneous spark of an idea. Like, we need a new idea, then they hear his music, and they're like, oh, vampires. Because I've heard, I first heard of Goshina and Tekken, and Tekken's music, while it's all over the place, you know, it depends on the stage and stuff. The stuff with him, like, go go listen to something with Goshina. I can't tell you at the top of my head what... Um, actually, I think I can. Let's see if I can do this very, 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 very quickly. Um, 
but like the songs that uh, he's done in that series, like you can tell, like it's similar to this, but it's got a, obviously more of like a electronic punch, and you know it's a little bit more removable. Um, oh, let me. I, I'm so curious on what he what he did. I know he did something. I want to say he did a, a song that I'm putting in a video soon involving castles. See, castles. But I, I'm not sure if it's actually him. Ah, oh, damn it. You know what? I should I should take a rare cut break, which I never do. But I'm very curious if it's him. And if not, then I'll just recommend something. Because if you like this stuff, then... You know, and by the way, he doesn't do all of Tekken. Tekken is a whole collaborative, huge amount of composers like Kaichi Okabe from Nier and a bunch of other people. Uh, quick recess while I search this really quick. Hold on. All right, we're back. Look at that. I was right. <laughs> I didn't know this yet. I haven't done the research yet. But look at that, right? Like, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Uh, I'll actually give you a preview of what this sounds like. For, for those that don't know, I'm working on a, a new episode of my new series called VGM Vibes. And we're going to be talking about castles and palaces in that video. And uh, this song is going to be in there. I chose it a long time ago. That's that's why I already know about it. But I didn't know who the composer was. So it's kind of, we've kind of uh, come full circle here. Small World. This is uh, a song that will be in there. So early preview. And this is, uh, just to give you an idea, it's called Snow Castle from Winter, uh, Winter Palace. Snow Castle from Tekken 5, Dark Resurrection, uh, Goshina. And you can tell what how I know Goshina and how it relates to Code Vein. So here's like 10 seconds of it. I haven't heard that in a while. Yeah, so that's what, that's like, I know that sound. So hearing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, in, in my head, my little head cannon, someone at the offices was like listening <laughs> to Tekken 5 or anything else. And they're like, you know what? Like, why don't we just make a game based on your, your stuff? So I'm, I'm just, you know, speaking into randomness. But yeah, Code of Vain is, uh, I, I will agree with what people were saying. It's underrated because... I just think Goshina makes really cool music, and though a lot of this is kind of atmospheric, this is like the the good atmospheric. Not mm, let me rephrase that. There's not really like bad atmospheric, but sometimes it's more like a lot of times atmospheric music in games is just kind of just there, just sort of floating in the background, not made to pay attention to. Whereas this feels like, yeah, like you're really immersed into the vampiric world or something. And if it's just a bunch of boss fights and stuff, well then, you know, that sounds cool. And if this is a character theme, then I'm guessing she's a boss. I don't know, let me know, Code Vein fans. But um, yeah, go listen to that song. <laughs> and don't tell anyone it's going to be in the next episode, but a uh, VGM Vibes 4, cheap plug. Uh, but yeah, that song's called uh, Winter Palace Snow Castle. And there's a, few ver there's a few remixes of it too, it's not just in Tekken 5, so. Anyway, so that was actually Requiem, Tranquility and Light. Finally, the proper version. I'm glad I went back and checked it out. Let me know about uh, anything else about Code Vein that you guys left out before. And uh, hopefully you learned a new song today. Okay, I think I think we're done now. So thank you, Nevermore064. Thank you for the, um, the patience there. <laughs> I waited quite a while for the song. And thanks to uh, everyone that's watching. Thank you to my Patreon members. I couldn't be here without them. To you for watching. Peace.